What's up everybody, I'm Rossi and welcome to another Pokemon video. So you've just purchased Pokemon Sword or Shield and want to do some max raids or trade with your friends. And you are greeted with one of these error messages. Well, here's how you can fix this. Press the home button to go back to the home screen. After that, go to system settings and then scroll down to internet. Choose internet settings. Make sure that you are connected to your network and then test your connection. Now over here you can see the NAT type of your internet connection. NAT type can vary between A, B, C, D and even F. If your NAT type is A you are good to go. But if your NAT type is B, C, D or F, you are screwed. Now I'm going to show you how you can change your NAT type from B or C to A. And for this to work, you need to have access to your router. If you don't have access to your router, then this video can't help you. But if you do, I can help you. When you are connected to your internet, you can see your connection status over here. Now, what you need to do is to write down this information because we are going to make you a static IP if you already don't have one. The reason we are doing a static IP address for your Nintendo Switch is that we are going to need open some ports. And if you have a dynamic IP address, each time you shut down your Nintendo Switch and turn it back on, your Nintendo Switch will have a different IP. Now when we make it to have a static IP, it's going to have the same IP each time and we can use that to open those ports for that IP. If you wouldn't have a static IP, we would need to go to our router settings each time you power up your Nintendo Switch and configure the settings of the router to match the IP of that Nintendo Switch. So write down your IP address, your subnet mask, gateway, primary DNS and secondary DNS. Once you have taken all that information, go to your internet settings, choose the internet you are using and then go to change settings. Now you need to change this setting, the IP address settings to manual from automatic and then you need to type in the information you just wrote down, like the IP address, subnet mask, gateway, primary DNS and secondary DNS. After you have done all of these, click on save. And now you have a static IP address. Now the next thing you need to do is a little bit trickier. You need to log in to your router and change its configuration settings. To do that, check the information behind your router on how to access it. Normally you just type into your web browser this IP address and it should then prompt you the username and password and then you can just log in. But this might be different depending on your router. Now because there are hundreds of different routers, I can show you how to do it exactly on your router. But you need to look out for a setting called port forwarding or whatever it is in your language. And what you need to do next is to open some ports. So this is called port range. Over here you put the ports you want to open. So we want to open ports between 45,000 to 51,000. And the protocol we are going to use is UDP. Over here we have the IP address. This needs to match the IP address you just typed in on your Nintendo Switch. Now this is the local port. And over here you type in the same numbers as to the port range. So 45,000 to 51,000. Now once you have done that, make a new setting. And again, for the port range, you put 52,000 to 63,353. And again, we use the protocol UDP. 
and over here it's the local IP which needs to match your Nintendo Switch. Now if you wouldn't have the static IP, you'd need to change this IP address match your Nintendo Switch each time you turn it back on. Now this is localhost again and you type in here the same numbers that you have in here. Now before I did this, I had the same error messages all around Pokemon Sword and Shield and I had a hard time doing max raids and even trading in general. But after I did this, my NAT type changed from C to A and now I'm able to do all of those things fluently. So hopefully this quick guide can help you get rid of those internet errors that you might have in Pokemon Sword and Shield and you can enjoy the game fully. If you have any questions regarding how to set up your router, please just hit me up with the comments and I'll try to see and figure out how to port forward these settings on your router. And please don't use my internet connection settings to hack me. That's all there is to it. Thanks for watching and I hope your internet is fixed.